Salut, je m'appelle Zhao. Et toi? Je suis étudiant au cégep en génie mécanique. Aujourd'hui, tu vas découvrir les machines que nous utilisons chaque jour pour nos projets. Évidemment, il y a une tonne de consignes qu'on doit respecter si on veut travailler sécuritairement. Pourrais-tu identifier les bons termes liés à ces consignes? Par exemple, pour dire « tu devrais », on utilise « you should ». Pour dire « tu peux », on utilise « you can ». Pour « tu dois », on utilise « you must ». C'est ça. Et c'est la même chose pour les interdictions. « You should not ».« You can not ».« You must not <rire> ». Exactement. Porte attention à ces mots dans la situation qui suit. Aussi, écoute bien les mots de vocabulaire suivants, puisque tu vas les retrouver dans la mise en situation. Hard hat. Protective eyewear. Safety glasses. Earrings. Sleeves. Bracelet. Watch. Fingers. Toes. Steel toed boots. Food. On y va? Bonne immersion. engineering lab. Before entering this room, you must absolutely wear the correct safety equipment. Yes, Amelia? I worked in a factory last summer, so I know all the rules. Great. Can you name a piece of equipment we have to wear here? Yes, it's important to wear a hard hat. Mm. It's true you must wear a hard hat on your work site, but here in the lab you don't need one of those. Although, if you have long hair, you should wear a net or a ponytail. Is that why you want to wear a hard hat? You do not want to wear a hairnet? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Should we wear safety glasses though? Yes, protective eyewear is a must. If you're not wearing your safety glasses, you may not enter the lab. Should we continue our tour? Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, so it is with the milling machines here that you will learn to machine aluminum parts. Sorry I'm late. I was hungry and stopped to get some food. Well, I'm sorry to inform you that you cannot enter the lab with any food or beverages. Yeah, but it's the first day. We aren't even using the machine, so what difference does it make? Well, what if you spill your drink in one of the machines? That's right, Amelia. And if you don't respect the rules today, you will not respect them when you're working. So I'm sorry to say, but you may not bring any food or drinks into the lab. Sorry, I didn't think it was a problem. There are other important rules you need to understand. Can someone tell Charlotte the first rules we learned? Yeah, we must uh, wear protective eyewear at all times. And if we have long hair, we must tie it up. Except for Amelia here. <laughs> okay, let's look at other basic rules. You must not wear long sleeves or loose clothing in the machine shop. You must not wear jewelry because it can get cut in the CNC milling machines. If there is an accident, you must stop the machines. Understood? Yeah. Okay. There's one final general information that is important is that if something falls off the machine, do not try to catch it with your hands or stop it with your feet, even if you're wearing your steel toed boots. All right? Are you ready to start working on your projects? All right. Go put on your gear and we'll start. Come back after. Yes, perfect. Okay. And then after we do the same with that. 
put it on top and also here. Ah, you're here. Before starting your project, can you help me very quickly identify which students are not following the safety instructions I gave earlier? Now we use the correct modal to explain the safety instructions to these students. You must wear safety glasses and a hairnet. Good job! Now properly warn this student. Please do not bring food or drinks into the machine shop. Excellent. What would you say to this last student? You must not be distracted near the machines. You now know your safety rules as well as your grammatical rules.